Hi everyone, good evening. We are back. This is Amber from Amber Crafting and Anna of from Anna and the New York City Planner Addicts for day eight in the 31 days of doodling. Welcome back. If you've been with us this month, if you're new here, welcome. You can, um, you still have time to participate, jump in where you are, use what you can. Um, we have provided this free printable planner on the uh, NYC Planner Addicts Facebook group. So you can download that and have access to all of the doodles for each of the days and you can practice along with us you can jump ahead go back um, whatever we're really excited to um, be able to provide you guys with this and, and work with you so um, today I'm working on day eight and I have a couple of materials here um, I'm going to do watercolor with um, with using water soluble markers. I I got the um, the March subscription box from Archer and Olive, and they has a lot of greens, which I'm really resonating with this month. So I'm excited to be able to uh, to play with these today. So um, today's doodle is. Uh, a great one. I love that she's in this pose. Um, I don't know if this is called the tree pose from yoga, but she really reminds me of a, of a tree here, particularly around her legs. They remind me of like of roots or branches, the way they intertwine within each other or around each other rather. So um, I'm going to take um, I really loved using these watercolor pencils and, and I just, I am not tired with them yet. So um, even though I'm going to use the, the water soluble markers for the journaling two page spread, I'm still going to use the, uh, the pencils for this doodle because I, I love working with the pencils so much. Um, so she's giving me major tree vibes with her pose here so I'm going to I think I'm going to do uh, like an all green monochromatic shading so I'm pulling all of my green pencils out uh, and we'll go from light to dark so uh, and I'll flip them so here's the lightest moves to olive there's a darker olive and then there's this uh, very beautiful evergreen so um, Actually, I think I'm going to outline the, the doodle first. Let me pull this closer so that you can see. So I'm going to start here. And outlining the doodle I've found has been really helpful in getting that shape down so that I can... Um, do the doodle later in my notebook for the two page spread or for the larger doodle. So it looks like it's like really two wavy lines and then um, her knee is kind of almost like a right angle and then her, her other leg is straight and here's her foot coming out. I'm going to do that again because I want that line to be just very nice and dark. And here's her leg. She has uh, like a dimple in her knee. And then here's the straight leg. And there's her foot. It's like an oval. And then I'm just going to do the wavy line for the other side. So next we have her arms. Um, I really love that this looks like a self-soothing pose, very similar to the one that we worked on on Sunday. 
um, where she, here she's hugging her shoulders, here she's kind of bringing it up, but, but I feel like she's soothing because the arms are together and kind of protecting her chest area. So I've done the first arm, I'm going to do the elbow is kind of wrapped around and here's her arm coming in from the shoulder, there's the other arm coming in from the other shoulder. And also with, with this green, I'm kind of thinking about a, a snake as well. Um, okay, so then we have her face. I'm not going to do her face in green. I'm um, going to do uh, these two colors. These are, this is a honey and then this is a, like a tan. So there's her face. Um, and I think that since her face is, is kind of obscured by her hands, I uh, may not do features. And with the darker tan, I'm going around, around her hairline. Uh, so with her, with her hair, this, this kind of reminds me of a beret. Uh, I think I'm going to do her hair similar to the way that I did um, yesterday's hairstyle. So uh, the girl yesterday, she had this very high bun. So I'm going to do the same. So she has her bun so that her hair is kind of like uh, it's contained and she wants it to be contained because she's doing yoga. She hates the feel of like sweaty hair on her neck. I do too. <laughs> so we're very similar that way. Uh, so now I'm gonna take a darker brown um, and shade the outside of the hairline a little bit just to get a little bit of definition. And there we go, and I love how her hair came out. So um, now that that's done, I'm going to bring in the other greens for the uh, for the rest of her uh, body. So this is the lighter shade of green. I'm just going to shade close to the outline. I'm shading around her arms and then we're going to go in with the lighter greens. Uh, first I'm going to go with this moss and then I'll go in with the light one. Here's the lightest green. Uh, and the lightest green is, is blending right at her core. So I imagine that that's where she's feeling most of her energy because she's holding this pose. And uh, as we know from doing these poses last month, it's a very active pose. So, uh, so we've got my blending brush now. And um, we're going to pull in the smaller brush so that I can blend her face. And then, uh, then I'm going to start blending her hair in. Making that bun a little bit bigger. Uh, now I'm going to pull in a slightly larger brush and uh, start blending in the outfit, this green leotard. 
And it's funny, she kind of reminds me of, uh, of Peter Pan. We, we had talked a lot about Peter Pan yesterday. Then um, I'm going to wait for her to dry a little bit and then add in some inking with my pens. Uh, but I, I, I really love the movement that I'm getting here from her pose. So now let's look at our affirmation. Um, the affirmation is there's space for me to grow. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm thinking so much of, of a tree. Um, not only because she's in this pose, which I believe is the tree pose, but I may be wrong. Um, she, I mean, the affirmation, space for me to grow, I'm thinking, you know, the, the, the trees are so well rooted in the ground. They are constantly growing, um, even though you can't see it. Um, you know that it's happening. Um, and the trees will, will make space for themselves to grow. So um, I'm just finding a pen. Um, and I'm a little bit befuddled because I just cleaned off my art area and now that like the things aren't where, where they were, <laughs> yesterday, so bear with me. Um, all right, so I'm going to, um, oh, actually, you know, I should use these new markers. Um, so these are the calligraph markers from Archer and Olive, and what's great about them is that they, they have that brush tip, like the Tombow and like the other brush tip markers, but then they have a small brush tip at the end and that small brush tip, it's kind of like the Fudanasuki brushes, brush pens, or um, what else? The sign, the sign brush pens. So this would be great for doing a little bit of fancy lettering, uh, which is not my forte, but I can write in the really nice cursive to do the affirmation. So, uh, so that is, there is space for me to grow. put an exclamation point because oh so you could see how how you could get like a wide uh, a wide brush stroke with that and I think I'm gonna play with some like heavier down strokes here as I like to do to make it look a little bit more fancy Good. And then um, the journaling prompt is how has your art improved over the past few days? <laughs> what a what a great question. Um, and let's see, just visually uh, from the first day, um, my girl looks she looks cute. Um, I think the, the biggest difference is that here, like I have, I used the, uh, the watercolor pencils and, um, and I did like the same type of blending that I'm doing now, but here there's a lot of like crisp lines. It, it almost doesn't look like I used watercolor pencils to color her in. 
Um, I really like how she came out. I don't want to disparage my, my previous day's art, but um, there's a lot more movement um, and, and less control here in this image uh, than, than there is in my first image. So, so I would say my art has improved in that way. Um, and then if I look at my other doodles really quickly, um, I can see like subtle differences in the way that I'm coloring these in. Um, I really like how I did her face here. Um, and I like it a lot more than I did her face here. I feel like this looks more like a, like a child drew it. Um, and here it's a lot softer. The blending is great. Um, she herself looks very dreamy. Um, I feel like there's an emotion here that is missing here. So those are, those are two things that I can say. Um, so again, I would do a bullet list and I would say my art has improved, you know, like echoing the question. In the following ways. And I would say one better blending. Um, maybe better features, so better facial features. control and I'll put in parentheses this is better um, and I have uh, maybe yesterday the day before yesterday I've figured out how to work with water based markers like their water colors. So I'm very happy with the with the progress so far. So this is the uh, so this is the completed page for the uh, the planner the free plan to printable planner portion. This is dry. So let's uh, let's put some more um, features here. Uh, so I've got a I've got a jelly roll that's white. We got a green jelly roll, and um, I want to do a little bit of black pen. Okay, so this is just a very thin black pen, and I want to just add a couple of scratchy lines to get that definition back in here in her arms. I, I want there to look like there are two distinct arms that are coiled. I'm going to add that to the leg. I really want to show the separation of the legs. So there's the curve of her hip. There's the shoulder. Here's her hand covering her face. Um, I'm going to put some of the definition in her hair as well. Maybe add like a few, a few strands. 
around her face so that there's some depth to her hair. I'll move this closer so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and now uh, I think that's it for the black line. Let me add this uh, this like knee dimple back in. And now um, I'm going to put a little bit of the green. Let's see, let me just swatch this to see how that looks. Okay, so the green will provide a little bit more contour and um, a little bit of shimmer. So this is like a glittery green jelly roll. I don't want to put too much. And then let's take the white and uh, with the white, like just very little, just very little around the outline. So I love how the, the white makes her features pop out a little bit more. All right, so there we have it. Um, I'm going to draw the exact same um, character in my two-page journaling spread. If you want to stick around for that. I know that I have um, been a little long-winded in, um, in my evening um, presentations, but I've discovered I just really like to talk, and I appreciate, you know, those of you who think you can get. So, um, so with this spread, um, what I want to do is, so I've said a couple of times, she reminds me of a tree. I want to draw her more um, looking like a tree and have some roots that are coming down. Uh, maybe coming down and like spreading out into the ground. So um, I'm going to start with a pencil. And I have her for reference. I think I'm going to have her um, towards the middle of the page. So I'm going to draw uh, like a ground line here. She, so because she's going to be above the ground and there will be roots below ground. So I hope that I can carry this off the way that I'm imagining it. Um, so since we have the ground, I'm going to start from the ground and see if I can draw these lines in reverse so that I don't run out of space and have her legs ending up being too short. So, um, so here's her uh, right foot. It's, it's planted and it's going up. And then there is her left foot, which is going up as well. And her left foot is crossed over her right foot. So there's her thigh and there is her hip. So this one, um, so now here is the bottom of her knee so that's crossing over so do the dimple there's the dimple in her knee I'm going to erase this a little bit because I feel like her leg is too skinny now should be a little bit bigger um, and then there's the all over her foot and I think that this leg also might be a little too skinny so I'm going to widen it a little bit 
Okay, so now here is the other leg, and that's coming up, so that this is her thigh, rather, coming up to her hip. And here's her torso. Um, I feel like her this hip didn't flare out enough, so I'm just going to sort of make her hip flare out a little bit more. It's a little bit more like an hourglass of her torso on this side. It's just a little too wide. So now we're coming up into her shoulder. We're coming up here into her shoulder. And then her arms came down, um, kind of like, almost like a heart shape. So this arm is curling this way. This arm is coming up. Uh, it's covering the face. And I do struggle with hands and doing my, my hand is like a mitten. And then there's the curl. Here is her arm and here's her, her other arm. Uh, and I think her other hand is here, like right behind her first hand. So both hands are up. Right now, her shoulder is here. Here's her other shoulder. I'm real. I'm very happy with the way her shoulders look. Um, and then her. The, here's her face. Her face is kind of obscured by her hands. Comes right here. And then here is her her hair. Um, with the tree, um, oh, sorry, there's some comments, bear with me. Oh, Tina, thank you for saying that. Um, I know that I talk really, really slowly. When I used to work in, in customer service, that was like one of the compliments. Um, and actually, uh, I had... I had to go on trial, like be a witness on a trial, and the judges also complimented me on that. My slow, uh, <laughs> slow speaking style. They said it was just very easy to understand, and uh, they, they liked that. They said especially people from New York tend to talk really fast. So I was born and raised in New York, but I don't talk fast at all. Quite the opposite. So thank you guys for appreciating that. Um, okay, so I was about to say with her hair, so she has this great messy bun. I really love the way that my bun came out in this, in this drawing. But I'm thinking that um, her hair may not be messy here. Maybe her hair kind of, uh, since she's a tree, maybe it branches out uh, and it's, it's branches, right? With, with leaves and stuff. That is, that would be wild. Um, so I think I'm gonna do it like that. Her hair is, her hair is leaves, like her body's the trunk. Oh, her body's the trunk. Okay, so um, I, I'm thinking maybe her body will be brown and I can draw uh, like some wood shapes into her. And then, then this is, this is her hair, which is branches and leaves and like flowers and fruit. Oh, and then today is International Women's Day, so this is like the uh, the very earthy representation. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me draw some roots um, at the bottom. So here's the roots coming down. So here we go. There's 
there's the roots, there's her, her hair is, is the branches, and her body is the trunk. Now, um, oh yeah, thank you, Anna. <laughs> You know, I really thought I wasn't going to change my mind, but I, but I did. I, I changed my mind with, with where I was going. Well, no, you know, maybe I didn't change my mind altogether. I did think that she was a tree, but I just changed the, uh, the color scheme I thought I was going to use. So, I appreciate you guys coming with me and trusting me through the process. So, I'm going to grab... Um, let me just move some things out of the way, and I'm going to get some markers. Uh, I think since we're doing the, the tree, these will be excellent to use, and I'll be able to use um, these darker browns. So uh, let's see, so this is the darkest, so we'll go with the, these colors. Um, so I'm going to start with the lightest of the bunch, we'll fill her body in. Okay, let me just move this because it's making too much noise. So I've got this blending palette. I'm getting some color onto it, and uh, then I'm going to pull my, uh, this is like medium width brush with some water. I'm going to pick up as much of this color as I can on the brush. And we will uh, paint her in. This is a great color. So I'm finding that, that uh, doing it this way, uh, blending the color on the palette and then coloring her in with, uh, with that brush, I seem to have a lot of control over the color. Uh, it it's definitely does not feel like watercolor anymore. I, and I think I even have more control with this method than I do with, um, or than I did with the watercolor pencils and then like blending it with the wet brush so that's really interesting um, so Anna would you consider this still watercoloring it I really feel like I'm painting in with with just pigment or you know it, it could be any any kind of paint at this point um, let me know what what you guys think uh, but not to say that I don't like the effect. I really like this. Um, I've talked about my need for control before, so this definitely works really well. You do get to keep a lot of that control. Uh, with this method. Um, and the color is very uniform too, so I will definitely be going in with additional colors to get more definition. Um, and this is this is the lighter of the of all the colors that I'm using, so I'm gonna go in with the darker colors. Uh, let's see, I do want to uh, 
uh, maybe get a like a very large wash of, of color along the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna need to add more color here. So I wanna get a large wash of color along the bottom, because uh, that would be the soil, and, um, and the roots would be a very dark brown. Okay, so now I'm finding that this is not great for, maybe I'll switch brushes and that will work better. This is not great for um, covering large areas. Um, maybe a... Um, so maybe I'll take this because there is quite a bit of like wet marker and just kind of smush it there. I need to get rid of that excess. Okay. I'm thinking maybe a gelato might have been better to, to just fill in this large area. Let me figure out what I'm going to do. Anna, you're saying a round brush? Okay, so if I do this again, I will do gelato because the blending is, is just so much faster. This is, this is not bad, but I would have preferred to be done with this part already because uh, I really want to work on the branches, I think, um, and like the detail on the roots because those, um, it's such a, a, a more ornate detail and something I would prefer to spend more time on. Um, all right, so next, uh, let's do the uh, the branches at the top. And um, I'm going to get a green marker for this. I'm just going to wipe off my blending palette. And um, I have this really great dark green. But again, I'm going to start with uh, lighter green and then go to darker green uh, just for that control. So I think this is more like a mint green, so I'm not going to use that at all. Um, this one I think is too light, so I'm going to use these two, the light green and then the darker green. So we'll do the light green first. Um, this is This is a great uh, this is a great color green. So I'm going to get my large brush uh, because I want like that whole area to be start adding in details with a darker green and then fill in the branches with uh, with brown
see I'm just trying to um, finish uh, whatever ink is still left here on my palette. Um, I think that's it for that. So I got my napkin and I'm gonna clean this off. All right, so the next part is that darker green, um, which is this one. And wow, so that is very beautiful color. I'm gonna go in with, um, this is again medium brush. I think this is about a fourth of an inch. Pick up some of that color. And I want to kind of just like stipple. Okay, so this is no control here. And so the loss of control was back. That's great. So the, my paper is pretty wet. And um, I'm just kind of like letting the color bloom into the page. Kind of reminds me of like clouds almost. Um, hi, McQueen DG. Uh, so you had a question. Um, oh, good morning. I'm so glad that you. Is it very early uh, there in Japan? I'm glad that you uh, spent the earliest part of your day with us. Is that a DIY sticker or ephemera I see under the book? Here? Oh, this? This is, um, this is a sticker. It says self-care isn't selfish. And I think I'm going to use that here because I'm going to pull this um, sticker out because um, in... Anna's talk this morning, and you can see like we're we're just bouncing off each other a lot during this during this month. She was talking a lot about um, self care, like particularly with the yoga pose, and um, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use that sticker. Um, and I think if it went here, maybe the background here could be blue. Um, I'm not sure, but I pulled out the, the sticker. Um, in hopes that I would use it for this spread. Okay, so now I'm taking the green. I used more water, so it's a little lighter than that previous application, um, just to get a little bit more dimension. Um, usually I use like three or four colors, but um, since I only had the two greens that I was going to use, I'm using water to lighten up that, that second green. Um, all right, so there is her hair, or the leaves. Um, I didn't make this sticker. This is from a shop uh, here in the US, and it's called um, Peel, and, Peel and Heels Studios. So she does stickers that are, um, they all have like a self-care and mental health um, theme. So I, I like them, I, I like her shop because the stickers, they kind of go really well with my journaling style. And I think uh, she did this sticker that says balance, which went well with my journal page. Um, so I hope that answered your question. All right, um, so let's do the roots now. And since this part is dry, I can get like a little bit more control in the roots. This was the color that I used. I'm gonna go with this dark brown. And then I'm gonna go back in with, the, uh, with these two browns to give some definition here. Oh, thank you, Tina. So I've got that brown, add a little bit more. And um, I'm gonna pull in a small brush um, at first because I think that this, 
just want to get like the the roots I'm not really follow well I'm trying to follow my line but I don't know if I will be able to follow it exactly but I think that's okay Oh, thank you for saying that, Laqueen DG. It's nice to spend the morning with people who share the same interests. This live is refreshing to me. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I, um, it's it's funny because I'm I'm as refreshed doing the live myself. Like for us, it's it's the end of the day. It's um it's six p.m. where we are Eastern, and um. As I do these these spreads and things, I I get inspired and get ideas for well either for the spread itself that I'm doing. Um, you see that like I kind of go in with an idea and then I change my mind based on like what we're talking about or where the page is going. But then I also get inspired for other spreads that I want to do, you know, either related or or maybe uh, take the spread in a different direction. So it's it's great to hear that that people are are inspired and feeling refreshed. I, I think that art is refreshing. Okay, so there's my roots, and uh, I'm just gonna clean this off. Um, I do want to add a couple of flowers or blossoms um, to the top let's see I don't have a red pen out okay but while I'm here and I have that brown pen let's add a little bit of contour to her or to the trunk I'm gonna do it with my small brush and I'm going to pick up that color and do the outline So just going around the edges. because I do want to make um, a few wood wood green um, like indentations I'm just using those uh, those darker lines as a guide all right Oh, that notebook is awesome too. It's holding the water nicely. Um, yes, this this notebook, you might be, this is a funny story since you're in Japan. This notebook is from Paper House Productions. And um, they're, they're a, a business also here in New York, New York State, that is not New York City. And they, um, a couple of years ago, the team, um, 
the team that comes up with the notebooks and stuff, they went to Japan to study paper making, like they toured paper making factories because they wanted to get a feel for um, like a very lightweight paper that is conducive to this type of art. So, um, so that's what they that's what they did. And when they came back, they came up with this line of uh, travelers' notebooks. They call them journey books, and the the books have these these inserts with the great paper. Um, and they were able to do it like very inexpensively. For us, we buy these notebooks, um, and I think it's eight dollars for two notebooks. Um, and each notebook, it's not a large notebook by any means, the notebooks have, um, I think about 60 pages. Um, but it's great, what I, what I love about these notebooks is that this, this notebook could be my journal for the month, and then at the end of the month, I start a new journal. So um, if you do 30 or 31 two-page spreads, it, it fits. So I've got a red here. I wanna add a couple of like maybe blossoms or flowers. Um, I'm looking for a pink. I don't think I have a pink, but I'll use this red. Um, let's see, this is a yellow. Um, and I have, um, this is a peach. I'll use the, the pink and I'll blend it with some of these other colors and see if I can get, let's see, I have like this, it's like a very light gray. Um, this is also like a very light color. So I'll see if I can come up with, uh, and this is a peach, see if I can come up with flowers that are not so bright, like wow, look at that red. Oh, La Queen, I, uh, so you said I put a lot of stuff in my cart from Paper House, but when I was about to check out, the shipping was crazy. I, I believe you. It was double from what I usually pay to get stuff from the States. Wow, really? Um, I, maybe it's because of the shipping company that they use. Uh, since I live in New York, when I order things, it doesn't take that long to come. Um, and they use U.S. Postal Service. I don't know if that's helpful <laughs> uh, to you from uh, if you're ordering from Japan. Maybe uh, they would be sending the things via DHL or something like that. And in which case, it might it would probably be more expensive. Um, all right. So I got uh, this is a round brush. Um, it's small, and I'm going to blend this uh, this red and see if I can blend it into this orange to come up while it's coming kind of like a darker peach. Oh, but you know, I think that this will work. Okay, so yeah, there's some there's some flowers. method for doing the flowers I'm just kind of dabbing them in like a dot uh, formation what I would probably do is go back with uh, with pen um, or maybe even marker and, and draw like some squiggles in there so that they look more flower like um, I'm going to now take that red and uh, let's do the red with this color and see if I can get a variation. Um, so this is nice, it's coming as like a deeper pink. Let me see if I can get like a little bit of dimension on the flower with that second uh, color. I'm just kind of putting a dot like on the side of the flower. All 
right, so uh, I think we'll leave it like that. Um, I know we are running uh, very long. I'm going to do one last thing uh, before I let you guys go. I'm going to add a green, green for grass here. Um, and I see I should have done that when I had uh, my card loaded up with green for the leaves, but you know how things go. So I'm just going to clean this off a little bit. And uh, let's load this up. Um, I'm going to use the dark green because I really love how vibrant this color is. And uh, I'm going to take my, uh, my medium brush and load this up. And I'm going to do um, kind of like a thin line and carry up that color a little bit. grass. All right, so I'm happy with the way that looks. Maybe we could add a few shrubs while we have this color here. Maybe like right here in the corner. Maybe there's like some trees in the background even. everything dry um, I do want to color in the background um, and I think I'm gonna do it with gelato maybe add some blue but um, I can ink some of these uh, elements in uh, maybe some of the I can do some of the flowers and add a little bit of definition to the trunk. So here I got the black pen. I'm gonna do like just a very faint outline here. Uh, so let me pull this closer. So the way that I do um, like uh, lines for the trunk, they would be lines like going down, like it's the grain of a trunk. And then you could do like a little, um, kind of like a, looks kind of like a keyhole. And you get this, this shape right here, where there are two swirls together. And that's how you can get um, this to have that wood-like so I'm going to add uh, just a couple of those.
so now her arms are looking like you know more more branch like more like knots I'm not going to do that to her face though for her face I'm, I'm not sure it's it's obscured but um I, I don't want to mark it up with like that wood grain all right so there you have it so it looks more wood like i'm gonna uh, put some ink like on these roots Oh, have a good night, LaQueen DG. So there, those roots really look like roots. Um, I'll, I'll show you how I'll do the flower. So with the black ink, uh, let me get as close to one of the flowers as I can. So I would start with like a little swirl and then start doing petals around the flower. So that's how I do my flowers. So I have a couple of flowers to do like that, and uh, I won't keep you guys for that. The last thing I'll show you is um, adding some maybe some highlights to the tree with uh, with some white um, pen. Let's see, this white pen is not cooperating. Let me grab another one. Try this one. Okay, so there's the white, so it's giving it a little bit of a more definition. So you can see like where all the pieces are like entwining here. Um, and I'm not gonna do too much white because I still have a fair amount of work to do on this background but I just want you to get the idea so um, when I finish this I, I, I think this is the longest um, spread that I've done but I am really liking where it's going and I want to take my time with this but not keep anyone any, any longer so what I'll do is I'll finish this on my own and I'll post it uh, when I'm done with um, all of the additional detail but um, thank you guys for spending this evening with me and um, I really love to see your interpretation of this pose this was so much fun for me and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too have a wonderful evening everybody bye